Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's start the video now. Despite the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not working royals, their trip to Nigeria has been compared to a royal tour. Prince Harry, once again thrust into the spotlight, has drawn criticism after images and videos surfaced of him inspecting troops in Nigeria during a visit with his wife, Meghan Markle. The couple, despite stepping down from their royal duties four years ago, find themselves embroiled in the controversy over their continued engagements reminiscent of their royal life. The backlash ignited on various social media platforms, notably X, formerly known as Twitter, where users voiced their disapproval. One user expressed indignation, asserting that Harry lacks the authority to represent the monarchy, emphasizing his non-royal status. Another commentator echoed similar sentiments, highlighting the removal of Harry's military titles by his late grandmother and emphasizing the need for intervention by the monarchy to halt such actions. A third individual derided the situation as weird, questioning the Nigerian military's awareness of Harry's diminished royal status. Despite the criticism, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex pressed on with their scheduled activities during their three-day visit to Nigeria. Their itinerary commenced with a warm reception at Ajuba after an overnight flight from Heathrow. Later in the day, they graced the Wu's Lightway Academy in the Nigerian capital, where they co-hosted a mental health summit along the Jinko Foundation. Meghan in particular captivated audiences with her heartfelt words, urging them to prioritize their mental well-being. Following Harry's speech, Meghan publicly lauded her husband, extolling his inspirational words. She then delivered her own address, emphasizing the importance of individual stories and resilience, drawing from personal antidotes, including a touching moment shared with their daughter, Princess Lilibet. Their visit extends beyond Abuja, encompassing Lagos and Kaduna, underscoring their commitment to various causes despite their altered royal status. The couple's journey concludes with a return to California, where they eagerly await a reunion with their children. While Prince Harry's involvement in military affairs stirs controversy, his and Meghan's dedication to philanthropic endeavors remains steadfast, showcasing their determination to make a positive impact irrespective of their royal affiliations. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.